Maraming paraan ng pakikitungo sa Diyos upang manama ang kanyang presensya, maaring sa pamamagitan ng tahimik na pagninilay, pagdedebusyon o kaya sa pagbabasa ng mga aklat pampanalangin. Ito ay sapagkat ang pagdarasal ay higit sa lahat ang ating personal na pakikitagpo sa may kapal. Sa loob ng mahabang panahon, mayroong mayamang tradisyon ng pagdarasal ng simbahan. Ito'y buong katapatan at matyagang ipinasa ng mga sinaunang kristyano sa mga sumunod na henerasyon hanggang sa kasalukuyan. Ito ang panalangin ng mga kristyano sa maghapon. Sinusunod ng panalangin ng mga kristyano sa maghapon ang galaw ng oras at panahon. Pinapabanal nito ang bawat araw mula umaga hanggang takip silip. Sapagkat ang bawat sandali ng ating buhay ay hawak ng Panginoon. Ang pandasal ay isang aklat pampanalangin na handong ng mga pari at brothers ng Society of St. Paul. Naglalaman ito ng panalangin ng mga Kristiyano sa maghapon para sa lahat na nagnanais palalimin ang kanilang buhay espiritual. Nakapaloob din dito ang banal na misa bawat araw, mga debosyong popular at mga pagbabasbas para sa iba't ibang okasyon at lugar. Ang pandasal ay kumpletong aklat ng panalangin na pang-araw-araw. Madaling gamitin at madaling dalhin kahit saan. Magdasal gamit ang pandasal sapagkat ang panalangin ay buhay. Pandasal, ito ang panalangin ng Kristiyano, ang panalangin nating lahat. Isang magandang magandang araw po sa inyo mga kasambuhay. Ako po uli si Father Domi Guzman ng Society of St. Paul Doing All for the Gospel. At uh, sa ngalan po ng aking mga kasamahang pari ng aming pong kongregasyon dito sa Pilipinas at sa Macau, gayon din po ng aming mga juniors, mga temporary professed members ng congregation at ng mga seminarista at gayon din po sa ngalan ng mga pari ng Archdiocese of Manila at ng TV Maria, ang atin pong mission partner para po sa apostoladong ito. Kayo po ay aming muling tinitipan ngayong pong ikalabing lima ng Desyembre 2019. Ito po ang ikatlong linggo sa apat na linggo ng Adviento. At kung tawagin po natin itong linggong ito ay Gaudete Sunday. Mga pari, mga ministers po, they will be wearing the pink color, tanda ng pagsasaya sa paglapit na ng pagdiriwang ng uh, Pasko. Sa katunayan po, ang araw na ito, 15th of December, ito po ang bisperas ng uh, siyam na araw na Christmas Novena Mass sa mga parokya. Uh, ito man po ay Novena Mass sa gabi, o nobina mas sa umagang umaga, ha, yung uh, Misa de Gallo, kung tawagin, tayo po ay malapit na malapit na nga sa ating uh, inaasam-asam na muling pagdiriwang natin ng Pasko, lalong-lalo na ng Paskong Pilipino. Greetings po at prayers para sa ating mga regular na mga kasambuhay, yung mga homebound na mga may sakit, yung mga elderly, at yung mga cancer patients po, yung inyo pong mga caregivers, at uh, syempre po ang ating mga kapulisan at uh, mga sundalo na napaka-busy sa mga sandaling ito, 
pag-aayos po ng ating pong uh, kapaligiran sa isang maganda at matiwasay na pagdiriwang. Binabati rin da po natin at ating pong ipinapanalangin yung mga doctors at mga health workers na nakaantabay sa iba't ibang mga emergency rooms at mga ospital and uh, syempre po ang libo-libo natin mga OFWs, Overseas Filipino Workers. Yung iba po umuwi sa Pilipinas para po sa holidays. Yung iba naman po ay kailangang uh, mag-holiday sa kanika nilang mga bayan kung saan sila uh, nagtatrabaho. Greetings and the uh, prayers din po para sa ating mga mission partners dyan sa Canada, si Brother Alex Fideris, si Dorothy Santos Merck, ni Adorna, Emily at Dante Reyes, si Joy at Alex Reyes, si Dr. Joe Adorna Guzman, at si Alicia Adorna at yung inyo pong mga kanya-kanyang mga pamilya. Greetings din po at pananalangin para sa intentions po ng Masigan Family, Chowa Family, Arrojado Family, Villarus Family, ang family po ni Didith at ni Joey Jacob, si Mariel Diaz ng Standard Marketing and Trading, ang kusina ni Kambal, ni Irma at Delio San Miguel, ang Corazon Ochoa at Rosita Kauyan dyan po sa Discovery Bay sa Hong Kong, si Alma Gonzales, ang kanyang buong pamilya, gayon din po ang ating mga long time na mga love offerers, si Romel Salvador, Gemma Candela, May Asuncion Recio, Rachel Esteban at Lailani, Paladio Himotea. Nais nice din po natin batiin at ipanalangin ang ating mga kaibigan na nakilala po natin sa iba't ibang mga Holy Land pilgrimages natin, yung spell group ng March 2019, yung uh, Holy Land group ng Journeys of Faith ng October 2018, kinabibilangan po ni Fathers Randy, Charlie, Joe Abs at si Father Joy, at gayon din po ng ating mga kaibigan na sina Cora Cabral, Geraldine Lee, Grace at uh, si Grace Lara, si Marie Joyce Brillo, Jamie Olaso, si uh, Attorney Juana San Benaventura, si Ninyo Molina, at uh, si siyempre si Willie at si Arlina Ong Lau ng uh, Journeys of Faith at uh, si uh, Marites ng Journeys of Faith, ang mag-asawang Benji Datok. Uh, si Chrissy, si Highland, si Rosely, si Rosebel D at William D, at siyempre po si Anton Santos at ang kanyang auntie, si Juliet O'Reilly. At uh, siyempre po ang tantwiko na group, si Dana, si Kathleen at si Tal, at uh, ang mag-asawang Grace Tan at Nonoy Tan, si Silvet at si Iris at Balbi. Vire, uh, Rivero yan. Uh, Ang recto group naman po At ang mga kaibigan nila Sila po yung uh, journey Yung ating pong uh, uh, Holy Land journey Ng March 2019 At uh, syempre Ang pilgrimage group po Ng Workers of uh, Christ Ng 2019 Na pinungunahan po ni Miss Jen Castillo Kumusta na kaya Ang ati Jen No? And then of course, ang pilgrimage group ng October-November ng Journeys of Faith, uh, kinabibilangan po ni na Lady Bird, ni Maricel Salapantan, ni Noel at Mercy, at uh, ni Trish, no? uh, si uh, Gay, no? na ating pong seatmate during the time of the pilgrimage, si Teresa Aboitis at si Mara, ang kanyang uh, uh, anak, no? And of course, si Father Divino Santos Rabang, si Nanay Alejandrina, at uh, uh, yung iba pang members po na itong uh, October-November 2019 na uh, Journeys of Faith uh, Holy Land Group. Ngayon po, nice din po natin bigyan ng pansin ng ilang mga sharing at mga prayer intentions na nanggaling po sa ating mga accounts. Una po dyan, si Jeffrey Porcalia na nagpadala ng kanyang love offering at uh, nais niya pong ipanalangin natin for guidance and strength 
for protection from all sickness and danger, sabi nga niya, and uh, nais daw niya maging entrepreneur at sana ito daw ay magkaroon ng katuparan para higit niya ding matulungan ang kanyang uh, pamilya. No? And uh, he would like to pray also for the intentions of the mother na nawabigyan siya ng strength no? at para sa eternal repose ng kanyang tatay. Si Marie at Vincula naman, kanya, magandang umaga po. Father, baka pwede pong ipag-pray uli daw ang intention ng kanyang tatay na si Gilberto at Vincula. Si Imelda o si Isabel Chini Tampis, gusto naman niyang ipanalangin po natin ang eternal repose ng kanyang ama na si Ernesto. Si Rolando Villanueva, Nagpapasalamat sa lahat ng biyaya at ipinapanalangin ng kanyang nanay na si Avelina Villanueva for good health at gayon naman ang eternal repose ni Ronald Villanueva at ni Lola Inyang Ranas. Si Maria Socorro Fuentes eternal repose ni Evangelina Hiliodoro at lahat po ng kaluluwa sa purgatorio. Si Tayits Black nais niya pong ipagpasalamat po natin ang mga intentions ni Wayne Tadike at ang buong pamilya at ganyan din po ang eternal repose ni Jesus Emmanuel, purifikasyon at ni Cecil. Si Marisa Buntog, ipinagpapasalamat ng kanyang iba't ibang mga blessing sa Panginoon at kanya eternal rest and peace para po sa kanyang tatay Agrippino, kapatid na si Mercy at si Rosely at gayon din po uh, si uh, lahat po ng mga kaluluwa. Si Elena Grona ipinapanalangin po ang eternal repose ng kanyang husband na si Carino Grona. And of course we'd like to thank and to pray for the intentions po ni the Dr. Rico Martin at Axel Gerochi at ni Dr. Azel Jade Tan ng Gerochi Dental and Implant Center dyan po sa Montivar Building sa Jupiter, Makati. You can go there for all your uh, dental needs at uh, alam nyo po, magaling po ang kanila pong serbisyo. Now, uh, tayo po ay nasa ikatlong linggo nang Adviento, sabi ko nga sa inyo, ito ay Gaudete Sunday. Ibig po sabihin ay pagsasaya. So, gayon din po ang tema ng ating mga pagbasa sa linggong ito, Rejoicing in the Lord. And uh, kung titignan po natin ang mga words ng mga readings, unang-una po, ang Propeta Isaiah sa first reading po natin, kanya, ang pagsasaya natin, una sa lahat, ay dahil sa patuloy tayong binibigyan ng gift of restoration ng Panginoon. No? So, nire-restore ni Lord ang kalikasan. Nagkakaroon uli ng bunga ang kalikasan. Nire-restore ni Lord ang ating mga katawan. Hands that are feeble, knees that are weak. Kani Isaiah, all of them are being restored by the Lord. But of course, Nandun din po yung gift of national restoration. Halimbawa, sa Israel, bagamat tinitignan ni Isaiah yung isang uh, madilim na bahagi ng kasaysayan ng Israel, yet Isaiah believes that the Lord will come to save Israel. So, yun po ang unang dahilan ng ating po pagsasaya para po sa ikatlong linggong ito ng Adviento Count your experiences of God's restoring power. You know? At uh, that will make you joyful. Doon naman po sa second reading natin, James chapter 5, verse 7 to 10, uh, alam niyo po ang ganda ng pictures na ginamit ni James. Sabi niya, have the joy of the farmer. Yung farmer, yung magsasaka, Nakikita niya yung maliliit na himala araw-araw sa kanyang bukid kung paanong yung itinanim niya lumalaki sa gitna ng iba't ibang mga challenge ng paglaki ng halaman, nagkakabunga. There are daily miracles that the farmer sees and for him that is joy. Dapat ganun din po tayo. Look at the daily miracles in your life. 
And siyempre, ang height po ng ating liturgical lesson for this Gaudete Sunday galing po sa Ebanghelyo ni San Mateo chapter 11, verse 2 to 11. Si John the Baptist nasa preso. Pero ano sabi ng Panginoon sa kanya sa pamamagitan ng iba't ibang mga emissary ng Panginoon? Kanya, John the Baptist, look outside your prison. Lumabas ka, tignan mo sa labas ng iyong uh, kulungan, sa gitna ng iyong pagkakulong, the miracles on the blind, the lame, the deaf. No? Alam nyo, we can be joyful kapag ang tingin po natin ay hindi po yung mga detalye lamang kung hindi. Ano yung pangkahalatan na kabutihan na nangyayari hindi lang sa buhay natin kung hindi sa buhay-buhay ng mga tao sa ating palibot. We have to know how to rejoice not only for our blessings but rejoice with others for their blessings. Okay? So narito na po ang ating banal na misa ngayon pong ikatlong linggo, bisperas ng simbang gabi, dito po sa Sambuhay TV Mass. Offering of the Holy Mass Accept most holy trinity, this sacrifice fulfilled at one time by the divine word, and now renewed on this altar through the hands of your priest. I unite myself to the intentions of Jesus Christ, priest and victim, that I may be entirely offered for your glory and for the salvation of all people. Through Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ, and in Jesus Christ, I intend to adore your eternal majesty, to thank your immense goodness, to satisfy your offended justice, and to beseech your mercy for the church, for my dear ones, and for myself. Amen. Father, at the height of our Advent walk, we relight the candles of hope and peace, and we light the candle of joy. Grant us the joy that comes with the hope of the Savior's coming, joy in the face of apathy, joy in the face of sorrow, joy in the face of uncertainty. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The third Sunday of Advent is Gaudete Sunday, or Sunday of Joy, Sunday of Great Rejoicing. Our entrance antiphon recalls Paul's exhortation, Rejoice in the Lord always. Isaiah invites God's people to meet the Lord with joy and gladness. And to John the Baptist's messengers, Jesus reveals that He is indeed the awaited one, the Messiah who has brought good news to the poor. 
Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray, O God, who see how your people faithfully await the feast of the Lord's Nativity. Enable us, we pray, to attain the joys of so great a salvation and to celebrate them always with solemn worship and glad rejoicing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, our Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The desert and the parched land will exult. The steppe will rejoice and bloom. They will bloom with abundant flowers and rejoice with joyful song. The glory of Lebanon will be given to them, the splendor of Carmel and Sharon. They will see the glory of the Lord the splendor of our God. Strengthen the hands that are feeble. Make firm the knees that are weak. Say to those hearts are frightened, be strong, fear not. Here is your God. He comes with vindication. With divine recompense, He comes to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened the ears of the deaf be cleared. Then will the lame leap like a stalk, then the tongue of the mute will sing. Those whom the Lord has ransomed will return and enter Zion singing, crowned with everlasting joy. They will meet with joy and gladness, sorrow and mourning will flee. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, come and save us. Lord, come and save us. The Lord God keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. Lord, come and save us. The Lord gives sight to the blind, the Lord raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Lord, come and save us. The fatherless and the widow he sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, through all generations. Lord, come and save us. A reading from the letter of St. James. Be patient, brothers and sisters, until the coming of the Lord. See how the farmer waits for the precious fruit of the earth, being patient with it until it receives the early and the late rains. You too must be patient. Make your hearts firm because the coming of the Lord is at hand. Do not complain, brothers and sisters, about one another, that you may not be judged. Behold, the judge is standing before the gates. Take as an example of hardship and patience. Brothers and sisters, 
the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When John the Baptist heard in prison of the works of the Christ, he sent his disciples to Jesus with his question, Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? Jesus said to them in reply, Go and tell John what you hear and see. The blind regain their sight, the lame walk, lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the poor have the good news proclaimed to them. And blessed is the one who takes no offense at me. As they were going off, Jesus began to speak to the crowds about John. What did you go out to the desert to see? A reed swayed by the wind? Then what did you go out to see? Someone dressed in fine clothing? Those who wear fine clothing are in royal palaces. Then why did you go out? To see a prophet? Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet. This is the one about whom it is written. Behold, I am sending my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare your way before you. Amen, I say to you, among those born of women, there has been none greater than John the Baptist. Yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. Sisters and brothers, my dear friends, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Malapit na malapit na po ang uh, ating pagdiriwang ng Pasko. Meron na po tayong Belen sa ating altar. At uh, bukas po ay magsisimula na ang mga Misa de Gallio. Papalamig na papalamig na po ang panahon dito sa Pilipinas. At uh, kung last week ang ating pong tema ay patuloy na paghahanda para sa pagdating ng Mesayas, preparation and reawakening, Bagong buhay. Ngayon naman po, ang binibigyan toon ay joyful anticipation. Masayang paghihintay sa pagdating ng Panginoon. At bukod do sa joyful anticipation, pinapaalalahan din tayo na maging patient o matiyaga. Habang tayo ay nagsasaya at naghihintay, sana tayo ay maging matiyaga. Hindi lamang ho tayo magiging matyaga na nakalimutan na nating yung ating hinihintay. Na? Para bang uh, nakalimutan na natin bakit nga ba tayo naghihintay? Sino nga ba yung ating hinihintay? So dapat daw ho makatambal yung dalawa. Naghihintay pero nagtitiyaga. Patuloy tayong nagtitiyaga. At uh, sa atin pong mga pagbasa, napakaganda na naman itong ibinibigay sa atin ng Propeta Isayas mga prophecy na sinabi ho niya 700 years bago isilang si Jesus. Sinabi na niya na darating yung panahon na yung lugar kung saan uh, tuyong-tuyo na ang lahat ng halaman, bigla na lang mamumukadkad ang mga bulaklak. At uh, para bang uh, maririnig mo ang napakagandang awit at sa panahong iyon, yun daw pong mga nangihina, lalo na kapag ganitong lumalamig ang panahon, nararamdaman ang rayuma, no? sumasakit ang mga kasukasuan, yan daw, ito daw pong mga taong nangihina, mathihina ang mga tuhod, ay magiging matibay. At sila po ay lalakas. Mga kamay na nangihina, sila ay lalakas. 
at sa mga pusong na tatakot, no? sila ay um, magiging strong. Sabi dito, be strong, fear not. Nung unang panahon, halos hindi mo marinig sa mga Pilipino yung tinatawag na mental illness. Mga kabataan na nakakapag-isip mag-suicide. Pero ngayon nakakalungkot dahil napapabalita na marami sa mga kabataan ngayon ang nag-underground na ng depression. Mga uh, kalungkutan na humahantong sa goodbye world. Para bang ayoko na sa earth. Humahantong sa ganoong uh, feeling. Pero ang sabi ni Prophet Isaiah, darating yung panahon na yung mga nangihina, nanlulupaypay, yan man ay may edad o mga kabataan, pare-parehong lalakas. Be strong! Fear not! No? Napakagandang prophecy. At sana ito ay makarating sa lahat, no? sa ating lahat. No? Uh, sa atin pong second reading naman, si St. James dito, binibigyan toon niya yung pagiging matyaga. Kung sa first reading, yung joyful anticipation, kasi nga mamumukadkad na raw yung mga yung mga halaman, yung mga bulaklak sa atin namang second reading, be patient. No? Be patient. Kasi daw po ang pagdating ng paghahari ng Diyos ay katulad ng isang farmer no? na nagtanim ng buto. At yung buto ay sinuksok sa lupa. Nawala na yung buto, hindi na niya makita. Pumunta na doon sa kailaliman ng lupa. Didiligan na lang Makikinabag na lang yung buto na yon sa mga nutrients na maibibigay ng lupa, pati na rin ng araw, sinag ng araw, at siyempre ng ulan o ng ididilig sa kanyang tubig. Makikinabang na lamang siya. Pero ang farmer, magtitiyaga. Hihintayin lang niya. Alam niya, mayroong mangyayari. Kasi meron akong itinanim. Bandar yan, no? Diyan ko'y tinanim. Yung helera na yan. Kaya nakaabang siya. At pumupunta siya doon, nililinisan niya yung lupa, dinidiligan niya, dahil alam niya, merong mangyayari. Be patient. At ganyan din po ang hinihingi sa ating kalooban ngayong panahon ng Adviento, ngayong malapit na dumating ang pagsilang ng Panginoon. Meron mang mga Humahad lang sa kanyang pagdating. Meron mang mga dahilan para hindi tayo maging maligaya. Katulad nga ng mga depression, mental illness. Pero ang sabi ng Panginoon, darating ako. Joyfully await my coming and be patient. Ito po ang napakagandang uh, mensahe din na ibinigay mismo ng ating Panginoong Hesus sa kanyang pinsan na si John the Baptist. Si John the Baptist na sa panahong ito ay nasa loob na ng preso. Hindi ho niya alam kung siya ay makakaalis pa ng buhay sa presong yon. Siya ho ay humihimas ng malamig na rehas ng, ng bakal at uh, ipinatanong niya sa kanyang mga followers meron ho kasi siyang mga followers meron din siyang likers no uh, tinanong tinanong ni John the Baptist ano nyo nga sa kanya uh, is he the one who is to come or shall we wait for another pakitanong lang kasi bakit ganon? eh may uusbong na mga halaman sinasabing may pag-asa sinasabing may magtiyaga pero ako nandito bakit ako nandito? No? Nasa kulungan. Alam ko ba may pag-asa? Ang sabi lang sa kanya ni Jesus, pinasabi doon sa mga messengers, no? na babalik doon sa preso para mag-report kay John the Baptist. Ito, 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 ito na lang sabihin nyo sa kanya. Ha? Sabihin nyo sa aking pinsan, ang nangyayari dito sa labas ng kulungan, ganito. The blind can see. The lame can walk. Lepers are cleansed. And the good news is proclaimed to the poor. 
Alam nyo, nung narinig yun ni John the Baptist, malamang natigilan siya. Dahil para sa isang mananampalataya kagaya niya, na alam ang sinabi ng mga propeta sa Old Testament, ito yung mga signs. Eh. Ito yung pinagdugtong-dugtong ng mga signs na sinabi, kapag dumating ang Mesaya, ito ang mangyayari. The blind can see. The lame can walk. Lepers are cleansed. The good news is proclaimed to the poor. Kaya siguro naisip ni John the Baptist, Bingo! Siya na nga. No. Kaya hindi kina kailangan sabihin ni Jesus doon sa mga messengers, Sabihin mo ako! Huwag lang siya magduda. No. Hindi ganun ang sinabi ni Jesus. Sinabi lang ni Jesus, Ito yung mga signs. Ito yung nangyayari. Nangyayari na to. Hindi lang ito inihula nung 700 years ago, pero ngayon nangyayari na. Kaya alam nyo, kalmado na si John the Baptist. Kasi alam niya, kahit siya nakakulong, alam niya may ginagawa ang Panginoon. Alam niya, narito ang Diyos. Eh ano pa ba naman ang hahanapin niya? Pag narito ang Diyos, sapat na sa kanya yun. Nasaan man ako, nasa loob ng kulungan o nasa labas, basta narito na ang tagapagligtas. Kampante na ako. Ang sabi nga ni Jesus, let no one take offense on me. Wala sanang maging stumbling block. Wala sanang maging hahadlang o sagabal para ako ay makilala. Para sila ay makalapit. Sana matanggap ng lahat na ako ay narito na sa kanilang piling. At magiging uh, isang makabuluhang bahagi ng kanilang buhay. Ito rin po ang patuloy na inialay sa atin ni Jesus ngayong panahon ng Adbento. Sa taong ito, 2019, sa ating sariling panahon, sa ating sariling sitwasyon. Sinasabi niya, meron mang mga sagabal, meron mang mga uh, dark forces around us, pero ang pinakamahalaga, kasama natin ang Diyos. At pagkasama natin ng Diyos, magagawa natin ang lahat ng bagay. Tumayo po tayo at bilang isang bayan ng Diyos ay dasalin natin ang ating pananampalataya. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With confidence, let us pray to the Lord to fill our hearts with joy that only the Lord can give, joy that will strengthen us as we wait for His coming. Let us pray, Lord, make us rejoice in You. Lord, make us rejoice in You. That the Holy Father Francis, bishops, priests, deacons, and consecrated men and women may find joy in the Lord and in return Strengthen the weak and the weary among us, we pray. Lord, make us rejoice in you. That those who exercise authority among us may shun luxury and corruption, and instead follow the example of John the Baptist, who lived a life of austerity and integrity, we pray. 
Lord, make us rejoice in you, that those broken by sorrow, disappointment, or loneliness, especially among the young people who need our care and attention, may know the gentle healing of Christ and experience joy, especially this coming season of Christmas, we pray. Lord, make us rejoice in you, that those who mourn the death of their loved ones may draw comfort from our belief that the just ones who, who have gone to sleep are now with God, we pray. Lord, make us rejoice in you. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions, we pray. Lord, make us rejoice in you. God our Father, hear our prayers. As we await the gift of your Son, dismiss all our anxieties, and fill us with joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and open for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Let's say. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Luis Antonio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord,
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the peace of Christ. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Behold Jesus, our Messiah and Lord, whose coming we joyfully await with patient hope. He takes away our sins. Happy are we who are invited to partake in this holy banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Distance means I will be living in a totally different culture where everything will be new. The emotional distance implies that no longer will I be able to embrace my loved ones when I want to. You have done special mission for God, and you did it confidently, trusting that everything will be all right, because our Creator has everything in His hands. Share with me the same faith. Make this travel a part of my mission here on earth. I have to leave for the good of my family and loved ones. I have to leave to do God's will. While I am away from them, protect them from dangers. Let them feel my presence through my letters and calls. Make us a strong family, even though we are far from one another. Saint Michael, through your intercession, may Jesus be the light of the family, and may Mary be our mother too. Amen.
Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feast through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bago po ang final blessing, gusto ko lamang pong ipa Batid sa ating mga kasambuhay all over the world na magkakaroon po, kagaya ng dati, ng uh, coverage ang ating Misa de Gallo. Kaya abangan po ninyo yan para patuloy din kayong maka, makiisa no, sa pagdiriwang ng mga Misa de Gallo. Please bow your head and pray for God's blessings. May the blessings of the Lord be upon you. The blessings of the Father and the Son, and may the Spirit of God, the Spirit of love, be with you all the way. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in the peace and joy of Jesus and Mary. Thanks be to God. Tayo po'y nagpapasalamat sa ating uh, presider para po sa third Sunday of uh, Advent, uh, Gaudete Sunday. At ngayon naman po sa ating katikismo, tutukan muna po natin ang isang napaagandang apostolic letter ni Pope Francis na kanya pong inilabas noong unang araw netong Disyembre. Pagkatapos po ng kanyang pagbisita sa lugar po ng kanyang patron, si St. Francis of Assisi, at uh, binisita po ni Pope Francis yung lugar ng Grecio sa bulubundukin ng Italia kung saan po unang naglagay ang St. Francis of Assisi ng Christmas Belen noong taong 1223. At dahil po dyan, inspired po si Pope Francis na naglabas ng apostolic letter regarding the importance of the Christmas Belen. Na alam ko sa maraming parokya ngayon nakatayo na dahil po simbang gabi na, bisperas na ng simbang gabi. Ang title po ng apostolic letter ni Pope Francis ay Admirabili Signum, no? Or Admirabili Signum, yan, no? At ano yung mga reflections ni Pope Francis? Sabi niya, yung uh, Belen set ng Pasko, it is an enchanting image. Ganda, no? So, yung iba na eh, enchant sa Christmas tree, yung iba ay eh, nabibighani sa mga parol, mga pailaw ng Pasko. Pero sabi ni Pope Francis, dapat for the person of great faith in the gospel, the Christmas Belen must be an enchanting image filled with simplicity but also filled with joy. Bakit mahalaga itong Christmas Belen na ito unang-una? Ito po'y hinango natin sa kwento ng Ibanghelyo. Sa lahat po ng mga simbolo ng Pasko na ating pong iginagayak, the Belen is the one that really comes from the pages of sacred scriptures. No? Ang kwento ng pagsilang ng Panginoong Heso Kristo. Kaya tawag po natin dyan, Nativity Set. Yan, ano? Pero maliban po dyan, ito pong Christmas Belen Set na ito, habang pinagmamasdan mo, And you allow yourself to be, you know, embraced by the image of the Belen. Sabi po ni Pope Francis, itong uh, 
balance it na ito, it invites you on a spiritual journey. Ikaw ay inaanyayahan na maglakbay sa iyong espiritu, maglakbay sa iyong panalangin upang muling tignan ano nga ba ang malalim na mensahe ng kwento ng Pasko na dapat babalik-balikan natin bilang isang grasya taon-taon. No? In fact, sabi po ni Pope Francis, ang isang napaagandang bagay na ma-o-observe natin sa Christmas Belen set is that it tells us how the Lord came to be born in the place where animals feed. No? Alam nyo, nung nandun po kami sa Holy Land, pinakita po sa amin siguro yung talagang manger, hindi kahoy. Yung manger could have been a stone, labangan. Kasi ito yung pakainan ng mga baka, mga tupa, anak ng tupa, mga kambing. Oh, Doon sila pinapakain, yung labangan. Hindi yung kumakain do sa kahoy. Mahina po yung kahoy, baka masira. Labangan, lalo na kung baka ang pinapakain mo o kamelyo. No? So that could have been the real Belen set, the real manger. Ah? Yeah. And uh, sabi po ni Pope Francis, it shows therefore na ang pagdating ni Jesus ay nais niyang maging close sa ating buhay. Maging malapit sa ating araw-araw na mga pangyayari sa buhay. At ito nga po yung uh, naging dahilan kung bakit yung Christmas Belen set. Sinimulan po ito na inspire po si St. Francis of Assisi na itayo yung unang belenset ng 25th of December, 1223, sa bayan ng Grecio, sa bulubundukin ng Italia, at dun mismo sa manger, yung uh, ginawa nilang uh, real size manger, doon nagdiwang ang pari ni, ni, uh, ni St. Francis ng Christmas Evening Mass. Para bang ipinapakita sa atin, yung pangyayaring naganap sa Belen, pagsilang ni Jesus, pagkakalaman ni Jesus, ito ay related sa ginagawa nating piyesta ng Eucharistia sa araw ng Pasko. In fact, Bethlehem literally means the house of bread. Yan. So, mga pamilya, mga parokya, handa na ba yung inyong Belen set? Nako! Sana wag nyo lang pagandahin. Make it really a place of meditation and a, a place of prayer. Lalo-lalo na po itong siyam na araw na ito ng atin pong simbang gabi na magsisimula na po mamayang, o oh, ngayong gabi, oh, mamayang gabi, bisperas na na itong simbang gabi. Tutuloy po natin itong napaagandang message po natin oh, na ito ng apostolic letter po ni Pope Francis sa susunod pong Sunday of Advent. In the meantime, kayo po'y aming tinatawagan, inaanyayahan na maging uh, kasambuhay Pauline Cooperator. Unang-una, nasa screen po natin ang ating pong mga bank account numbers for your love offerings. Maraming maraming salamat po sa patuloy na pagbibigay. At uh, alam niyo po, we would like to inform you itong darating na Enero, Sisimulan na po natin ang proyektong gawin ang parokya ng Our Lady of Soro sa Pasay na magiging home base ng Sambuhay TV Mass. Kaya po, sana keep those blessings coming and be a part of this wonderful dream ng atin pong apostolado. Pangalawa po, you can be a mission partner of course by spreading the news. Kaya nasa screen po natin ang iba't iba pong mga cable channels ng TV Maria at gayon din po ang digital accounts ng ating Sambuhay TV ipamalita po ninyo ito i-spread nyo sa mga kaibigan para lumago ang atin pong uh, apostolado linggo-linggo and of course you can always text us for your messages and your mass intentions sa ngalan po ng lahat ng bumubuo ng St. Paul Audiovisual Sambuhay TV sa pangunguna po ni Father Resti de la Peña at uh, ni Reverend Kiv de Matatak at lahat po ng bumubuo ng uh, ating pong audiovisuals doing all for the gospel 
narito po ang aming iniiwan na prayer ni Blessed James Alberione to spend the week well. My dear and sweet Mother Mary, help keep your holy hand upon me, guard my mind, my heart, my senses, that I may never commit sin. Bless my thoughts, affections, words, and actions, that I may always please you and Jesus my God, Jesus and Mary. Give me your most holy blessings. Amen.